Hello guys and welcome back to another amazing Let My video of the cringiness of my videos where you get to I get to make funny and horrible videos while you guys just laugh the nights off on these videos. But um just uh just uh just uh wanted to come up with a video that you know inspires people to go play Call of Duty and uh yeah just uh do that. But um, yes, as some of you already know and some of you already expected, this will be a gaming video and um, no spoilers intended, so another, there are no easter eggs shown in this video, sadly. All we did, this is me and my friend uh, Mason here, and all we did was play around with our bows and get upgraded guns, like, because we ended up getting more money than freaking we were supposed to, basically. He got the maximum amount of money that you were able to get in the game. I just kept spending my money on um, pack punching my guns and getting more guns. I asked him to uh, to just get guns from the uh, the, uh, the mystery box and um, basically he wanted to do that but we ended up getting a lag spike at the end and we just lagged out the game and basically I'm pretty sure it was just him overloading his points. But, um, hope you guys enjoy this video, and, uh, peace out. So, of course, you need to get a bow, and then, yeah, I need to walk over here. It's near spawn. You gotta shoot this purple thing right here, and something will magically appear. You gotta pick it up. Then, you come over here to this room. Basically, you guys should all know where this is. That purple dot on the floor, you gotta hit that. I nearly died right there. But, um, you gotta hit that purple thing on the ground. You gotta juke this zombie out real quick if you have one zombie left. It's always good to do it with one zombie, but if you have, like, if you're doing it on a really hard round, I suggest you do it with a bowie knife. Because I was on round 8, and, um, it kinda didn't work out for me. So, uh... Basically, after this, you have three spots to collect your scattered skulls. One's between the rocks. One's on a uh, double tap ledge. The other is in Samantha's toy box. The special one is in window. Then the next one will be in the dish next to the teleporter. Then you have to actually take the teleporter to run, get launch pad, and that's where you will find your next um, head to put in the room, which is very scary. But uh, yes, yeah, so where you're gonna find your next head, then you're gonna wanna come over there. They're gonna tell you to pull in. He's gonna want you to pull in. Okay, well, basically, he's gonna want you to sacrifice the skulls. So, what you wanna do is you wanna bring out a, you know, grenade, as I did right now. You wanna bring out a grenade, throw it at him, and, uh, basically, just bring a whole bunch of crawlers in here. You can't see my skulls, because I had to do this on, a, uh, I had to do this on, uh, theater mode, but my skulls will appear. Basically, you're gonna have a lot of zombies in there, so you're gonna wanna bring a, all the walkers over there. The crawlers will automatically die in there, but you wanna bring all the walkers back to where you are. This is how I do my stuff. This is basically, it just makes it easier, so you have to stay in the room with all the crawlers and all the walkers, and it just makes it hard, because you have to deal with crawlers and walkers. Basically, after that, he's gonna want you to collect something. You wanna collect those, and they disappear really fast, so basically you wanna collect those, and then you wanna come over here back to the same spot. Once you've collected them all, the ones that you need, if you do his name wrong, you're gonna get something that's he says it's not my name or not my name or something like that and basically once you do it right he's gonna say that is my name but it's kind of hard not really hard but it's you have to go to the room where you see all the statues and basically you have to type on each statue that he says but at the end of this video I will give you guys the rundown on the symbols and everything but basically once you actually get his name right the first time I got his name wrong on purpose for my video but um 
if you get his name right. Basically, on those things on the ground, those symbols on the ground, you have to shoot those with your bow. That's the only way you can get your ascension, your ascendant bow. But basically, I did it wrong the first time on purpose. But this is the first. This is gonna be the first time I do it right. So basically, you have to shoot this. Well, for me, you have to shoot the one with the three triangles. Well, basically, no, because my character did it wrong, and I said it wrong, but basically, this is what I ended up getting, and it says, that is my name. Once he says that, that will disappear. That will disappear. And this thing in the top is gonna disappear, and you're gonna get this thing, like this just ascension thing, and like... It's going to form your bow. It's going to make it like a very big, round, perfect bow that you will collect. And you have now finished wolf bow, but you are not done yet. You must go back to where you, well, just basically the last head you mostly, most players would do is you would want to come down here and you would want to go all the way over here to your character and you're gonna place your bow right there and then it's gonna look like this once it's done once you fed all the zombies to it once you've killed all zombies that you could kill near it you're gonna get this white little glowy bow that you'll see in a second you'll get this white little glowy bow and that's how you know your bow is done and you may now put in your bow well your arrow you'll get this nice glowy arrow and you have to put in your bow to upgrade your bow kind of crazy huh now this is what it will look like when the bow is upgraded you'll get this purple thing up in the air and it will be done I hate this part because my friends are mean I, they told me to okay so look they told me to put in my bow and then the bow comes out I collect the bow why do they want to pull a trick on me and tell me they said there was a glitch put it back I put back my bow then I click quickly get it again and then he tells me to put it back and then he takes it but he doesn't take it forever he just wanted to play with me that's my friend Mason that's my friend Mason for you guys and uh, Hope you guys enjoyed my video. Hope you guys like my video. Hope you guys subscribe to this one cringy guy named Leafy on YouTube. And this one guy named... I forgot his name. You know, I forget it. But, uh, yeah, you follow Ryan Seacrest on internet and everything. And, and, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And, uh, peace out.